Okay, so this is the Scorpio alarm system and I just removed it from the Rossi R1. Uh, it's fairly straightforward to remove. There's just a couple of connectors from the battery and these T-taps were on uh, some of the, the signal lights and the tail light. Um, and then this wire here, these two wires here were tapped into, uh, I guess, the ignition wire. So this is the ignition uh, disable module, I guess it is. Um, so now that has been removed. It certainly was not functioning properly. So now the next thing I got to do is that ignition stable, uh, uh, de uh, deactivation module, I guess it is, was... Uh, spliced into these ignition wires now when they did that unfortunately they cut them right right back in there and soldered their wires on as opposed to i guess finding a longer piece of wire in here somewhere which would have involved cutting off all the sheathing but each either way uh, I now have to join these wires back together and then uh, I'm going to use some heat shrink tubing over top of that um, once I've started these guys back together. So I think ideally I'd like I would like to have cut it off, got rid of all of this wire, but um, anyway we'll see how it goes. I might cut it shorter and uh, just that I often find when I'm soldering Maybe I'm just using too much heat. I'm not a professional at that, but uh, I end up the, the heat shrink tubing starts to contract against the wires as I uh, as I heat it up. But anyway, we'll we'll try it this way first. If I'm successful, maybe I'll cut it a bit shorter and, and uh, try it uh, try it again. But hopefully, uh, then the bike will run and I will not have uh, strange things happening with the alarm system. Wire is all soldered, it's shrink wrapped, and uh, the bike is running again successfully. No more alarm. So this is just a final note, I guess I'll call it on the uh, the alarm system. So while I was successfully able to solder this wire wire back together and heat shrink it, I think I might now cut it back even further so I can get rid of some of these other solders that are in the in the loop here now. And make it a bit more of a cleaner a cleaner repair so i'm going to do that um and i guess the other thing i would say is the alarm system uh, definitely had some issues going on with it i'm not exactly sure what had malfunctioned or why but what i did find was that um sometimes as i mentioned in one of the earlier videos the tail lights would just go on um, when you wiggle the wires um back in here where the t-tap connector was and that orange connector, which was connected to the tail light, is supposed to receive switched power when the bike is running. I guess it gets power when the bike's off. It doesn't. And instead, what was happening was that orange wire from the alarm had a continual 2.75 volts going through it. So um, it just happened that uh, there was a bad connection here with a T-tap to this uh, tail light wire. Um, which is why the light was not all the time, but uh, when it made contact, it was basically feeding power the whole time to the tail light. So that was going on. Um, the, the alarm system did not arm or disarm with the remote control. Um, whenever you touch the the brake levers, it would or the um, the foot lever, it would uh, for the brakes, it would it would chirp, um, and the signal lights would come on, and it was doing all kinds of strange things. So uh, it's a good thing that it's gone. Anyway, uh, on to the next job.